I'm Dr. Paul Kamfwa, the gynecologic uh, oncologist based at uh, Cancer Diseases Hospital. Apparently, Cancer Diseases Hospital is the only hospital here in Zambia which caters for all the cancer patients. Currently in Zambia, we only have uh, six uh, trained uh, oncologists and these are clinical oncologists and all of them were trained uh, from outside. We do not have uh, a gyne oncologist, neither a surgical oncologist. But uh, MEC Foundation had to collaborate uh, with the uh, Ministry of Health and they had to identify me so that uh, I could go to India and study at one of the world-class centers in India which uh, deals in uh, cancer. And this is uh, Tata Memorial Hospital in uh, Mumbai. Apparently, I'm the first uh, Zambian uh, gynecologist who has been trained as a gyne oncologist. So my full names are Dr. Murindwa Makasa Justin, a consultant under the Pediatric Oncology Unit at the Cancer Diseases Hospital here in Zambia, which is the only uh, pediatric oncology care center in the whole country of uh, an estimated 17 million uh, Zambian. Uh, the pediatric unit at this cancer hospital attends to about uh, 120 to uh, 150 uh, children with cancer every year. They have to travel uh, over about uh, a thousand kilometers to get to this one center to, to access this treatment. And in an analysis that was done in the last four to five years, uh, it was shown from there <coughs> that the abandonment rate of treatment is about 50%, with only about 8% of them really completing therapy. I was very happy uh, to be trained at Tata Memorial Hospital. The reason being is that uh, there is a huge volume in as far as uh, the patients are concerned, such that uh, if you look at uh, the learning curve, it's very excellent. One can uh, get to grasp the skills within um, a very good uh, uh, time, especially looking at uh, the number of the patients that uh, they see. Because this is the only cancer treatment center for children, we tend to see a lot of uh, late stage disease presentation. So the big question there is what you do with those patients that have presented late. So one key thing uh, that is useful that I learned during the training prog program is the use of uh, metronomic therapy. Okay, which is uh, consistent administration of uh, small doses of chemotherapy to these patients that will uh, relieve uh, their suffering. In addition, you, what I learned was management of these patients comprehensively is supposed to be done by a multidisciplinary team. You have uh, good uh, radiologists uh, and interventional radiologists, which you, whom we don't have currently. You have um, medical oncologists, you have radiation oncologists, you have palliative uh, care team, you have the pathology. All these, when you put them together, they actually form a very good team to, to give uh, a best treatment for cancer patients. So to me, going to an environment with such a uh, human resource, uh, I thought was very, very, very profound. My training has uh, brought a lot of uh, changes to the country, especially for the past uh, six months when uh, I came in that uh, we have got uh, a reduction in the number of uh, referrals that uh, we were sending out because most of those uh, patients, uh, I operate on them together with uh, 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 two of my colleagues. So the impact is almost immediate and instantaneous as you can tell from uh, perspective of patient care. Uh, okay, so definitely they, they will be improved uh, pediatric oncology patient care. Uh, education of the undergraduate medical students as well as uh, 
the postgraduate uh, general pediatric uh, residents will also benefit uh, uh, in their training uh, as a result of my uh, pediatric oncology training. Um, also, collaborative uh, efforts with other centers uh, from around the world. Having stepped into being one of the first person to be trained in Zambia under the Ministry of Health to go and get a surgical oncology training, I should tell, say that um, we have a lot of people actually wanting to do this training in the various uh, field of surgical oncology. I think it's important and it's going to bring a meaningful um, uh, change in terms of better healthcare provision in Zambia. I've suggested that this is a very good uh, training to my colleagues and uh, for your knowledge uh, in uh, a month's time there is another gynecologist who is going to go to, Tata, to India at Tata Memorial Hospital under the auspices of uh, Make Foundation is going to do the same uh, Make uh, Africa Oncology uh, Fellowship he has been identified by the Minister of Health and we are happy because that will make uh, the two of us. Very thankful to have had this great opportunity under the Make Africa Oncology Fellowship Program to go and do uh, pediatric medical oncology at a world-class center of, of, of oncology care in uh, Tata Memorial Hospital in Mumbai, India. Um, this indeed, as I have shared before, uh, is of great benefit to myself, okay, my patients, and my country. Thank you very much, uh, Merck Foundation, for this great opportunity afforded to me and my colleagues. You may be aware that some of these trainings are, or fellowship programs are actually difficult to come by. Uh, what Merck did was a very uh, a tremendous work and um, indeed a, a pat on their back and I hope they can continue to offer such uh, programs to especially countries like Zambia where we have we are still trying to to, to be better in the pro providing of our healthcare services indeed to make foundation and the entire team to say thank you very much for the great opportunity and I think we can see light at the end of the tunnel.